Welcome to another free tip of the day brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to generate a list of birthdays or anniversaries. I'm going to start with a list of customers, and we're going to generate a list of customers whose dates of birth are just on today's date. You can use this to generate a list of birthdays, anniversaries, employee pay raise dates, all kinds of stuff. I'll be using Access 2010, but this lesson is valid for any version of Access. Here I have a real simple table that I've called Customer T to store my customers in. I've got a customer ID auto number, first name, last name, and date of birth, which is a date field. I want to generate a query showing only the customers who have a date of birth equal to today's date. Today is March 6th, so if I do this right, I should see Joe Smith. I should see Don Barker, and I should see Barbara Peters. I want to make sure the month and day are correct. I don't care about the year. So let's close the table down. I'm going to create a query using Query Design. I'm going to add the customer table to my query, and then I'll close the Show Table window. I'll add all the fields from my table to my query by double clicking on the asterisk up at the top here. Now I want to break down the date of birth into two additional calculated query fields. I want the birth month and the birth day. To do that I'll use the month and day functions. So I'll create a new calculated field. I'll call it birth month colon set it equal to the month of which field date of birth and that's inside of parentheses. I'll do the same thing for day, the birthday. Birth day colon the day function of date of birth. Now go ahead and run the query and when you run the query you'll see two additional calculated query fields. We've got birth month and birthday. Using the month and day functions, you can see how it isolates the month and day of a date field. There's 9, 8 for September 8th. Down here there's 3, 6. So here are all the customers, their month and day of birth. Now all I have to do is add some criteria to limit it to just today's date. Well, let's go back into query design. Come down here in the criteria row and once again I'm going to use the month and day functions but I want to send today's date instead of the date of birth so it's going to be month of what's today's date date open close parentheses that says give me today's date and feed it into the month function do the same thing with today's day so it's the day of date and press enter. Now those two values will act as the criteria for this query. So when I run the query, you can see how it limits the results. Today's month is 3, today's day is 6. Those are the criteria to limit my list of birth months and birthdays. Once again there it is, the month of today's date the day of today's date and up here we have the month of the date of birth field and the day of the date of birth field. Now that you have your list of birthdays you can use this query to feed any report or other form that you want to generate if you want to send mail or if you want to generate a report so you can print it out and give it to your people on the phones whatever you want to do with this information you have it in a query. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. There's lots more free videos just like this one on my website at accesslearningzone.com. Make sure you follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. My username on each is 599CD. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to post them.